So I was at the grocery store the other day and one of the fellows that works at the store came up to me and he said that he had an ax for me in his car. So after a few moments of waiting in the deli section, he comes out with, uh, with this beauty. So that was a really nice gift. I still had groceries to do, so I was walking up and down the aisles with uh, this. Welcome to a Canadian small town. So we're gonna fix this up. So one of the reasons why it looks a little funky is because it's a spring-loaded ax. And this model was created around the 1970s. So the blade would start the split, and then there's two spring-loaded pieces that would then push the wood out a little bit more. But one of the springs is missing, so I think that's why this ax was orphaned. So we're gonna try to get this spring in there. All right, so we got one end of the spring and then I'm feeding it through. There we go. Okay, this is gonna be the challenge. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know if you can even really see it. Basically just trying to get the spring to go onto that little piece. Okay, there we go. Did we get it? We'll see. So I took off some of the rust and sharpened the blade. The axe handle is still in pretty good condition, so we're not gonna replace that just yet. I think we're ready for a test. Not bad. Compared to using a traditional axe, it does feel like the blade just has a bit of a like a life to it, which is an interesting kind of feel. Let's see how it does with a more dense piece. You can really feel that mechanical support when the levers spring out. 